welds update. So it's been a little bit since I've done um, electrical stuff that I can share with you. I'm actually working on a couple of projects that I can't say anything about currently. Um, and this one is one I've had for, I've had the parts for like a month and a half now. And I just haven't been able to get to it. And I've been wanting to. And today was finally the day I was like, you know what, I'm just putting everything on hold for a minute because I just need some time. Because um, I enjoy doing this stuff, and I was like, you know what, I just want to take some time and figure it out. So, um, so how many of you guys who follow me on social media know that I got these boards. These are my wideband gauge PCBs for the OLED screens. Um, I got them like a month and a half ago. I also got the parts like a month and a half ago. I uh, had some family stuff come up. Um, had a death in the family, so I had to go down south, be with family during that time. Um, when I got back, it was uh, take care of orders and stuff. Um, get kind of back into the swing of things, and then um, this COVID-19 stuff happened, so I've been working, um, thankfully I still have my day job for the time being, but um, it's just been a crazy, crazy month and a half, so because of that I haven't been able to get back to this. So I wanted to get back to it, because I've had all the parts and I'm like, I just want to try it, because I'm trying to get these wide bands on my website, I actually, um, my helper has made two of them i got to finish up. Uh, I got one I made, I gotta finish up. I got parts for like five more. I got a whole box of harnesses that's sitting here somewhere. I think, yeah. So, whole box of harnesses ready to go. Um, but I need to uh, just finish some things up before I can do that. Um, I'm also gonna start pumping out some more bumper stickers with the business and stuff like that. So it's just. I haven't had time because of one specific project I've been really devoting a lot of time to and I was like today you know what I need to just take some time for myself so that's what I'm doing and uh, I spent maybe a half hour this morning just playing around I wasn't even going fast I was just having some fun and I got my OLED wideband gauge going so we're going to show you how that works so let me put my camera around here alrighty so um, this one is just a prototype, uh, that's why everything's kind of standing off of it. I put standoffs on here so I can re easily remove the screen, easily remove the, um, the trinket, just in case I need to like, you know, pull this off, change the code, which I could change the code with it on the board, but I wasn't sure, so I just wanted to, you know, have standoffs on here. A finished unit's going to be a lot tighter, um, like, you know, more compact, so the screen will be a lot closer to the board, the trinket will be a lot closer to the board. Uh, the other components will be this far off. And I may put the trinket on standoff still. I haven't decided yet because, like, realistically, the regulator's up high. You know, my uh, very resistor, which is a surge protector, is up high. The capacitor's all high. So having this that high is not really a terrible thing. But the screen's obviously going to get a lot closer. It was just make it easy so I could pull it off. Because this is one of the screens I actually did some trust testing on. But I think it was 20 volts reverse to it and actually took it which I'm shocked but um but anyway so that is um why this one looks a little different the finished units that will be a lot closer I'm also gonna do it like a 3d print deal for support for this guy and just some other odds and ends but I'm trying to do this as cheap as possible for folks because of the fact of you know cheap wideband gauge to go with my wideband controllers and um, also because I can change the code on this and make this um, take any 0 to 5 volt input and display whatever you want. So my idea is right now it's set up for AFR, but as long as the sensor puts out 0 to 5 volts, I should be able to do boost sensors, like map sensors. Um, I should be able to do uh, field pressure, oil pressure, you know, barometric pressure if you really want it. You know, whatever you want, 0 to 5 volt, this is going to take it in. So, and a lot of people are like, well, a trinket, an Arduino trinket, or sorry, Audio Fruit trinket only works on 3.3 volt. I have circuitry on here to step a 5 volt down to 3.3. It's a simple voltage divider and a couple of protection, protection deals just to keep it safe in case you hit it with more than 5 volts. But anyway, so that's what I've got there. So nice and compact, nothing big. Should fit in my um, display uh, bezels. And I, my plan is, is like you can see how like the finishing is not that great on here. My idea is that I want to print a couple of these, sand them, and then hit them with some black paint to help fill in, you know, the 3D print stuff, and see how well they turn out. Because I want them to look good. You're gonna have these on your dash, 
So I want them to, you know, not look like they're 3D printed even though they are. Um, so we're going to see if I can do that for cheap because I'm trying to get this as cheap as possible um, for sale. So we'll do that. I still got to figure out how I'm going to pass the wires through the back here. That's going to be my biggest thing. I haven't figured that particularly out yet. If I'm going to just have the wires come through the back, do like, you know, a zip tie on the inside so you can't pull it all the way out. Or if I'm going to do a pass-through connector, which is kind of what I want to do, but again, price point. I'm trying to get this where it's economical for everyone. So, because I know there's not a lot, of, you can get, you're starting to get into gauges where you, you know, with price point where you can get gauges uh, that are nice. And I, I want to keep these nice, but I want to keep it economical. So, I'm trying to figure that stuff out. I'm still digging through. But the big step right now was getting it to work. So... Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fire off my power supply. I'm going to try to do this all one handed, so just bear with me um, without shortening anything out. So, negative, and watch my screen. Yeah, there we go. Twisted build. Y band gauge. And you can see right now it's 4915L. The sensor's warming up right now. So, everything's all hooked up. It goes to 19.9. That is a calibration thing. I gotta go into the code because that should be reading 20, which you can see it blimps up to 20 just a little bit. It needs to read 20 because in a free air, that should be 20. It puts out a 10 to 20 AFR reading. So that should be reading 20 right now. Um, and there's a little bit of noise on it. I gotta go into the code and just add a little bit of a buffer. It's nothing terrible, but it works just fine. Um, it's again, this is a prototype. I got to work on the kit a little bit, but it's working. So I'm going to take my lighter and you guys remember me using a lighter with the, um, with the voltmeter, same thing's going to go on here. So I'm literally going to hit this with some taking all the oxygen out of the sensor and you can watch it. I don't know if I can actually hold the lighter in front of it, go straight down to 10. If I take it away, you can just watch it rise up. So, it's working. Um, again, I need to work on some buffering circuits and just do some more diag. This is a rough, like, get it going type deal. But, um, I'm shocked. I'm happy. Well, not really shocked, but I'm very happy because I, um, this was the second round of boards. The first boards I made, I had surface mount components and the board house screwed it up. I mean, I double checked my my design because I thought, okay, maybe it was you know I screwed something up because it's very possible. I'm human. I found out, nope, I had everything correct compared to what they had for like minimum specs for clearance and everything, and they shorted power to ground and it just completely killed the first board. So this one's my next one, and it's working very good. Again, I need to work on that a little bit. Um, that should be reading straight 20. I need to, I'll probably put a voltmeter on the trigger output and see what voltage I'm getting right now. And I'm sure it's just a buffer type deal. I just got to work on the buffer um, code in there. But, um, and it may be just a voltage offset. But I've got everything grounded centrally. And that's the great thing about these. These are going to have two ground outputs. So you got 12 volt in, one ground to ground the gauge to make it function. The other ground is to share the uh, uh, ground between that and this, which I actually have a second ground. I have two main grounds right here. So if you see that wire, that black wire right there, it's a main ground. So what that, that will allow me to do is you can take a main ground from there, wire it there. They'll share the same ground so you don't have any uh, voltage fluctuations over our ground. They'll be grounded together. Then you have another main ground and the heater ground. I've got those just grounded right now to my power supply. But, um, and yeah, the whole deal, like, if you go off the amperage off the power supply, on startup pulls, I think it's like 1.5 amps, 1.6 amps, and it drops down, that's its neutral state, 0.91, with everything powered up. So very low power out, or power required. Uh, probably going to recommend a 5 amp fuse on everything. But, um, I am, I'm very, very happy with the results I've got. So, uh, next step is going to be, um... I'm going to work on the code a little bit, and I'm going to take the gauge, the standoff off the gauge, or off the screen, and get it closer, and start working on figuring out how to get that screen and one of these bezels. Um, i got to figure out the, I'm going to 3D print a retainer.
just like the um, like an oil pressure gauge, how they have that little strap deal that goes around. But to you know, reprint one of the yeah, reprint one of the covers with some holes in it for the, the retainer, and then figure out what I'm gonna do for wires. But I'm getting really close, so and it's working. And as I said, the great thing about this is, is I can change that to whatever I want. You know, it could be say zero to like 300 kpa i could do a vacuum and boost i can do um whatever i want so anything that's zero to five volt it's going to be very very robust and not only that i can like change the boot screens and everything like that so very very excited this is going to be a blast but i just wanted to share with you guys my uh monday morning or sorry sunday morning um research and development i guess so hey guys, thank you for watching. If you are uh, like these videos, uh, please uh, like and subscribe. Um, and I'll be sharing more as I get farther along with this and all the other projects I have going on here. So hey guys, thank you and have a good day. Bye.